Hey friends and family, it's mighty cold on this Wednesday morning in early December. It's unusually cold. And how cold is it? Well, I got a little hot cup here. Let's see. I've seen worse where it immediately freezes, but look at that. Yep, it's that cold that hot water immediately turns into vapor. Alrighty, let's go in the barn, finish the DIY clean room and let's see what else we can get into. Hey folks, I just wanted to show you something because that's living on the farm. I always have to kind of watch for several things and during the winter time there are some really unusual things. Up here on that uh, single wide trailer that we have on the farm here that's connected to the old farmhouse where my dad lives in. Um, here's an exhaust fan. You can kind of already see that there's icicles forming on this site and I will keep an eye on it all day and today. If it becomes too much, I have to go up on the roof and kick it off, which is rather satisfying, to be honest. <laughs> and over here is actually the sewer exhaust. And that one has a little uh, icicle on top of it. So we've got to make sure that, that all of these, those two don't plug up because this would release sewer gas into the house if it's too much plugged up. And this one would release carbon dioxide into the house from the gas furnace. So always a thing to watch for in the Minnesota winter. Kind of interesting, but I gotta check on my house to see how it's there. This one is only about covering this bottom circle about 40%. Usually when it's around 60% or so, I'm, I'm going up for sure. So I will keep an eye on it throughout the whole day. And we'll take it from there. Good. Just wanted to show you. <laughs> okay, let's do it nice, quick and short because my right hand is exposed to the air. It is really cold. <laughs> so... I flipped over the passive heating tent latch here, the protection layer that I built in case there are storms coming, a lot of snow, so that when it drips down here, all the snow is not building twice as much on top of this little plastic layer. Something I saw when I opened it up is that on the inside now, overnight, I created a bunch of snow, so I had to tap it a little bit here, let me show you. Let's get some off. Yeah, so it's really cold. Let's go back inside where it's a warmer. I just wanted to show you a little bit here about the passive heating tent. I hope it will keep the a little bit warmer, the air temperature, than when we pump it in. So it would be interesting to check that out too. So see you inside. All right. Well guys, here it is, the first clean room. I'm gonna call it CP number one for Claire Patterson, my hero who invented the clean room. So this is CP number one, because I bet there will be a number two pretty soon. But this is the first one that I built. You can see the fan here blowing air in through that HEPA filter. So all the wind that's in there is sterile. And you can actually see that it blows out the wind here out of that little entrance. Behind that entrance, let's go take a look, is a little door. So when I'm in here, let me go around here. I can close it. I can even lock it to some degree. Click. And now I'm inside the stereo room. Here you can see the filter. Here you can see, let me switch the hand. You can see the sealer, my jars, and my little still box. I will still need the still box um, for doing my cloning process. That's when I use all the grain things here, um, and mostly with the petri dishes, because those petri dishes are so, so sensitive to the smallest contamination. And um, so I think if I use the steel box with it, I will be on top of everything inside this little clean room here. So yeah. Everything went pretty good together. This what you this what you see here is the wall layer flipping over on the inside and the top layer flips over on the outside. Which you can see behind there. So it should be pretty good. There's a nice wonderful stream coming out of here. That should be very nice. So I can work right here in front of that table and don't have to be restricted anymore. It will be really cool. 
All right, on to the next project. Hey friends, welcome to What's Up Mush? Yesterday I didn't include the segment that I was recording, but today I will include it so you have a kind of an idea what's going on in here today. Um, the first big batches are kind of really fruiting out now. Probably within the next 48 hours, I will have to make a run to one of my wholesale customers to sell them a bigger quantity. I had some reviews coming in from some private customers um, one was saying they were delicious, um, they really loved them, they're going to buy them absolutely again as soon as possible. And um, another person was not aware how meaty they can be, how, how much of a substance they actually is. It's not like those little button mushrooms, some of those pink ones for example, they are really flashy and they have, they have a substance to them that most people are not accustomed to. So. Let me go quick, get in my sterile lap outfit, and then check out what's going on in here. Hold on a second. Good thing. Let's go. All right, let's go quick in and check out what's going on here. These are some of the second flushes already on those. Um, those are the pink oysters. I don't see a lot of activity yet on them. Here are some of the golden oysters, the newest ones. Yep. Here are the white oysters, chestnuts. There's a little bit of activity right here. Down here's a lion's mane coming. Let's swing over right here. You can see how the lion's mane is really f forming more and more. Something that's new in here, I put those little fans in here so I have some airflow. Those tree bags have zero activity, but up here, look at that. <laughs> All of those are pink oysters in there. Some of them will be ready probably within 24 hours to be harvested. That one back there. It's beautiful, it's huge too. Wow, I really like that. And then let's swing over here. The other golden oysters. This one has to get harvested pretty soon. It start to curl up. But it also was kind of really hindered and it's growing. Down here are the white oysters. That one has to get harvested today. Other than that, not much activity that I see. Yep. All right. That's the update. Well, folks, I'm saying goodbye from here. But before I leave the mushroom barn, I wanted to show you something, how cold it is. Anytime I open this door, it's just steam coming right out of it. Let me turn off the light. All righty, folks. Let's go outside. Yeah. Not very impressive right now. I suppose it's my steam from the mouth that comes from that room and out. So that's it for today. Thank you again so much for watching. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm so happy I got the clean room done. It's so awesome. It's going to be so much more efficient in my operation for everything. Thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oop, I got to get my rings. <laughs> see you tomorrow. <laughs>